Poppy Milk was first introduced to the North American market in the mid to late 1980s by opening a distribution center outside of Visalia, California. Most recently was the reinception, reawakening of Affy Milk USA. It's amazing how much how much more time you have based on, on just being more efficient and not having to lock your cows up and not having to drive from one end of the dairy to the other because everything's just right there for you. Well, it's just like with any new technology, once you do implement it, you can't live life without it anymore. I mean, it's, I kind of put it as a scenario as electricity. You know, how could we milk cows without electricity? It's like, I can't run a dairy without AFI milk anymore. You can't hardly dairy anymore if you've got a, a dairy of any size without using a computer. So you're going to be spending time on a computer anyway. So why not spend time, I guess, more effectively if you're going to be looking at information, the more, the better the information is that you're looking at, the the more effective it's going to be. Uh, it's a very low maintenance system. It's easy to clean. You know, it's it's not. I've heard nightmare stories about other systems that you have to take apart occasionally and clean them with a toothbrush or clean them with a caustic or anything like that. And and the Affy system's just not that way. I mean, it's it's very simple, very clean. The Affy system seems like you could update any new options that, that came into the market. Nothing was obsolete, you could add to it. In other words, you could sell a dairyman something that could be added to his system, not discard something. But there's so many different ways you can use Affy and not have to buy the whole system. I have a cousin down the road that just put in Affy Act, and he puts leg bands on just the cows he's trying to get bred, and it's a great start to uh, getting yourself going in Affy Farm. The secret of the Affy Milk system is that it is modular. You can start with a very basic system and you can build upon that without ever having to throw anything away. So we just build upon the foundation that you decided that you wanted to start with. You know, you can put in the meters and then, which we're doing here, and then put in the, the leg bands and then put in the full, the full ID and, you know, do it in steps and then once you get to the uh, complete package uh, now you've got what well, you've got sort you've got weight you've got feed you've got you know a, a never-ending uh, array of, of options I used to tell the boys this cows in heat and they would just say yeah dad we know that the computer is spiking we know it you don't need to tell us well, you don't have to have as many uh, people working around the farm because the program does a lot of the work for us um, the AFI Act really helps on heat detection. You don't need to go out into the barn and watch for cows jumping for heats. Um, it goes to the computer and it's there for you in the morning. So I'd come out in the morning, bam, I got cows waiting for me to breed. If the cow came in heat in the morning milking, she'd sort at the noon milking automatically. So basically all I had to do, the computer in AFI farm did everything for me. I'd just show up and see what was waiting for me to do something with. It's been a real reliable system for us. We've used it from day one to do all of our breeding along with the Affiac system. That's uh, how we catch all the cows for breeding. We don't do any visual heats. Uh, everything is done with the uh, Affi software. I'd rather be out there getting the work done, but it does help me decide which work to do. Because it's a system that operates by deviations, you only see a small number of cows, and I can build enough work to get me through the whole day within an hour. I've got one herdsman doing 700 cows by himself and Affy is a huge part of that. Okay. There's no time involved. You know, Affy Milk, Affy Forum does all the work for you. Everything is, um, I don't have to do any calculations. I just have to bring up a list, I'm done. On weekends, we're generally on a bit of a skeleton staff and you just have a lot more confidence that these cows are, that are in heat, you're going to pick them up, you're going to catch those cows in heat when you're, when you're short of staff. Now, since installing the uh, Affy Milk system, especially the activity portion of the, um, the Affy Milk system, just the reproduction is just phenomenal. There's no tail chalking, there's no physical walking through the strings looking for heat cows. 100% of the heat detection is done off the Affy. Our heat detection has gone from about 59% to about 67%. Uh, if, if I do the math, on our farm milking 350 cows, it means we're getting about three or four more cows pregnant a month. We, we breed once a day, we go through, and within 
20 minutes we have all our cows lined up. They're inseminated, put back, and takes care of the breeding for the day as far as inseminating goes. We breed 100% off of AFA activity. Our average heat observation is 60 to 70% on a monthly basis. AFI milk has been the one key item that has helped us improve our reproductive system. Just to, uh, to by a flick of a switch on the, on the mouse, you can just pretty well see which cows is what you want to do, where they should go. If you want to do a group change, it's a matter of, of just sort those cows out and just uh, have them separate from the other cows. You know, you can't walk through that herd of 500 plus animals and and see that cow that laid there for the last three hours and didn't get up to eat. You know, there's problems when you look in the computer, you find it. We can pinpoint, we know where each cow is. As long as the input is correct, we know where each cow is and we can sort them out and know exactly where they are in the barn and bring up a list. It's a fairly easily run program and, uh, and Ingrid is uh, certainly uh, and, and quite capable of, uh, of looking at the, at the reports or, or making changes to uh, what, what has to get done, yes. Everything with the milking procedure is all documented. Uh, makes it very easy to make decisions on an individual cow level. Uh, other than physically looking at a cow, it can tell you everything physiologically about her that you may or may not like. You don't want to call a cow off of one bad day. You could keep her around a little longer and uh, make a little more money before you have to get rid of her. So when we make a decision to call a cow, we know it's time to call a cow. We have not used drugs as far as uh, tubes on this dairy other than dried tubes, you know, for the last 15 years. Uh, Jesse's our guy that, that treats the hospital. He, it's more, he's much more effective if he's looking only at the cows that he needs to look at and not looking at every cow that's, that could be in that pen. So I can look at my milk weights with confidence and I rarely go out and look at the cow before she, she gets called out. I just look at the report, make the list, pull the cows out, look at them, well, when they're in the pen, and like I said, I, I can't remember the last time I said, oh, that's, that was a mistake, I shouldn't have eat that cow, so. Um, you know, a cow can start to drop, and she can drop for a week, but maybe it's because she was lame or she was sick, and then she starts to come back up, and we can see that right away, and then not, you know, maybe not get rid of that cow as, as soon as possible. So it makes us more selective, and we can, you know, we can raise the bar, which is what we're always trying to do, is raise the bar, uh, and that's how we get to 90 pounds of milk and 93 pounds of milk. I think the most valuable part of our AFI milk system is the milk weights and being able to make culling decisions and also decisions on sick cows that if they've dropped the milk, if they're sick, if they're still milking, they're still healthy. If I, if I look at the valuable parts of the, of the, the system, I, I have to put the pedometers on top. I just, we're blown away every time again what it does for us. Production is, of course, is always nice to know, but uh, I, Especially in, the, in, in a half a barn, we have never seen results like this. I mean, as far as having daily milk weights, it's just like we have a test every day. So I can make decisions on the fly as far as which cows I got to cull, which cows I got to move into the lower ration to maximize uh, feed efficiency and, and return on my investment in feeding that animal. Uh, fresh cow summaries, how, how good are your fresh cows doing? That's something that we look at a lot and it's, it's very accurate. If, you're, if you don't have daily milk weights, you're looking at a, usually about the best once a month you check all your cows, and uh, that's you know that's a lot better than nothing. But it, having it every day is is uh, is a lot more accurate. It doesn't take as much time as you might think. I would say after each milking, uh, one of us will sit down for about 10 minutes at the computer, and that 10 minutes is enough time to call up all the deviation lists, uh, all the reproductive lists, the cows that are in heat to go through those lists of cows that the computer is thinking are for some reason not performing uh, uh, based on their, their normal performance. Having that daily record, every pin, every cow, basically I can look at every single cow, every milking, and if there's something amiss, I have, I have my finger on that almost immediately. I frequently hear the comment from a customer that there is so much in aphid milk that they're not using it all. And we've had lots of people come here that, that just cannot believe the information is what is there. It is fairly user-friendly. It's a Windows-based system. Uh, once we learn how to use it, 
you can make any report you want to make. You can find any information on there that you want to find. Over time, um, I've been able to narrow that list down to exactly what I wanted. We've done little experiments with groups on some ration changes. We could usually, you know, find that things were working or not working. Just knowing exactly what your cows are doing every single day. Um, it's, it's a tool that you can use as much as you want or as little as you want, but, but you can never completely use every single aspect of it. With Affy Farm, Affy Milk, you get so much data, it depends how you use the data. I mean, as far as the milk and efficiency, it's something that people really don't look at. You know, I can look at my employees just like I look at my people, as far as the parlor efficiency, you know, what's getting done inside the parlor. You know, it's just, I can tell when crawls were closed or, you know, gates were closed when they started the next string. You know, cows milked in the wrong string. I can see anything that happens on the dairy if I'm not here that day. I don't want to watch my employees 24 hours a day. I don't have to watch my employees 24 hours a day. Uh, but if we run into uh, some kind of an issue, then I can go in and look at the milking efficiency reports and see, you know, what time they started milking, um, you know, how many cows they milked an hour, you know, what time they loaded a cow, what time they closed the gate, and how long between the time they closed the gate to the time they put the machine on the cow. And that right there will tell me if they are performing their uh, procedure the way that, that we want it done. And, you know, in our case, the answer is always yes. I mean, we've, I've never found anything on an efficiency report that's really thrown up a red flag. It's always traceable back to an employee. We don't normally police the employees like that, but when we need it, it is there. We normally have a very good crew and we don't have a problem with it. Over the course of two weeks, there might be 14 different people who will do the milking and the reports that come out of the milking parlor shows us the flow rate in the first 15 seconds, the average milking time per cow, the number of reattaches in the parlor, and you really start to see the difference between different employees and how they're milking the cows. And it gives us the opportunity to, to manage those milkers and point out, you're doing something different than everybody else is. I don't know what it is, but let's work on your protocols to make sure that we're all, all following the exact same protocols every day. I can keep track of uh, how efficient the guys are in the parlor um, with the milk flow. If they're doing correct prep, that's a really beneficial tool to have that you can say, okay, you guys aren't doing something right and you can get it fixed. The herdsmen or myself are not in the parlor 100% of the time and the AFIC milk system is better than having a video camera in the parlor. We can see what the, lo what the load rate is, we can see the attachments, we can see the, the number of seconds between each attachment, and it allows us the ability to be able to tell whether or not proper milking protocol or parlor protocol is being used or not used. And it, also, and it gives us an opportunity to be able to, to pinpoint the individuals that are responsible for, for that particular session and then give them a pat on the back and, and, and thank them for you know, being efficient. With the Affy Milk System, it's, uh, it's been a lot easier for me to maintain uh, the parlor performance and figuring out how guys are doing and, and watching you know, how my letdowns are going and, and maintaining uh, daily milk weights and, and being able to cull a little more aggressively and a little more accurately. There are two main goals that Affy Milk USA has. The first part of that goal is to allow the dairyman to use less investment necessary, either to invest in a new Affy Milk facility, modify or build upon an existing facility to upgrade it to our latest technology, or maybe more importantly, to maintain his existing system. The other part of that goal is to help him get more value from the system by understanding how his system works better. We do this through the dealer networks, we do this through more direct support to the dealers as well as the dairymen. There was always somebody on the premise just almost daily in the beginning to find out what was wrong and how they could improve the system as far as software went. And from the, from the very first program we put in and to finally it was up and going in six months, 
was just unreal, the support and the dedication they had to the system. We may have one of the oldest AFI systems in existence. Um, it's been in here 20 years. We uh, have confidence in the system. The system's very simple. I believe in the beginning that was one of the things we liked about the system. I can do all of the repair work needed through the years. I've learned to deal with all of the problems. There is the technicians there if you need them, but in my particular case, uh, with an older system, it is so oh, maybe drawing back on some of the older employees to help me through some of the problems. However, I haven't had that need. Uh, and basically, just because of the simplicity of the system, it's pretty much self-diagnostic. When, when I have a problem, normally I can find it or pinpoint it very simple and the problem can be resolved. reduced labor costs, we've, we've gained efficiencies, we don't have to lock our cows up because they're getting sorted out automatically right outside the milk barn, and so our intakes are higher, cows are calmer, and it just sure seems to be a, a smoother running operation. It definitely is going to increase your management ability and your ability to oversee the whole operation. I would absolutely recommend the, the AFI system. Uh, on the heat detection side alone, it, it pays for itself and then there's numerous other benefits, kind of side, side benefits that are just kind of icing on the cake. The payback kind of depends where your level of management is, is at the beginning, but I think I could easily say that within a year and a half, the system will have paid for itself. I think it's beneficial. I think it's, they have a very good milk meter and the software program is, is great. The AFI program is, is great. You're not taking two guys out the barn to, uh, to, to find this cow that needs to be trimmed or to find the cow that needs to get bred. It's just, uh, just so much more relaxing. It has really uh, made our bottom line uh, a lot better, a lot better shape. Cost of production has, uh, has really gone down because of it. I think it's very unique in California. We only have 12 milking stalls and all 900, 950 cows go through those 12 milking stalls. Our return on investment was one year it was paid for. Dairies get uh, more automated and, and there's less work to do all the time. And so yeah, dairymen can get fat. So anyway, you're gonna have an exercise instead of driving your pickup around the dairy, ride a bike. If a person wants to get down to the fine tuning of a dairy, it would be awful hard to have it without technology. And with the systems out there that I'm aware of, uh, I'm sold on the AFI system at this point. You have to move ahead with technology. It's the people that implement technology first that are the benefits of the technology. The people that wait to see it because they're gonna perform, it, the, the time has already flown, flown by. So I would have to say, if you don't implement AFI, you shouldn't build any barns.